It's the 2K Sports pregame show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here. Shaq's here. Kenny's here. Welcome to this edition of 2K Sports. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Nets in Brooklyn. Checking out Brooklyn, playing above 500 in the last few weeks. Not bad. They'd like to do better. We'll see if they can add a win tonight. And the Brooklyn Nets, no control of their first round pick until 2019. Makes it tough to execute a quick turnaround, Shaq, but they're trying. Yeah, the front office has been getting creative. They're taking on big contracts to acquire valuable assets. Well, they've done a great job recently of drafting late because it's tough. You know, late first round picks, late second round picks, those are guys you really have to do some homework on. But win or lose, these guys have played hard every single night. What's a quick turnaround? But there you are. See, it makes it wow. tough to actually quick, quick turnaround. Quick turnaround. Ernie, that's not quick. We got new, we got new chairs. That's not quick. Here in, here in the studio. It's actually kind of slow turnaround. Kevin Harlan's got the call. Traffic in New York City making its way back and forth between Manhattan and the borough of Brooklyn. Our setting tonight. The Cavaliers are out of Cleveland as they take on their Eastern Conference rival in tonight's contest. Well, what better way to spend a Monday night than with the 2K sports team and the NBA? Welcome, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Greg Anthony as well as Brett Berry. And we'll be catching up a bit from the sideline with David Aldridge. For the Brooklyn Nets earlier this season, they were the winning team in the last matchup against the Cavaliers. Their last game against the squad, they won out thanks to some big contributions from the bench. Yeah, a few of their reserves got some decent minutes that night, and they took the opportunity and ran with it. A lot of scoring coming off the pine in that win. Before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Well, guys, the fallout from the Nets trade with the Celtics in 2013, of course, is still being felt all around the league, and GMs are very reluctant now to surrender first-round picks unless they receive major league talent in return. Nobody out there wants to be embarrassed, Kevin, on or off the floor. Yeah, some lean years in Brooklyn partially as a result of that transaction. David, as always, thank you. 
You can see it all over the league. Injuries, Brent, beginning to affect some teams, but it's hard to pay your stars and maintain a deep bench all under the salary cap. It's a very difficult dance to do. This is why sitting next to you as a broadcaster is a really less stressful thing to do uh, uh, yeah, rather right. than be a general manager in the league. Yeah. Uh, so hard to but make. But you could be a general manager in this league. Maybe at some point, Kevin, mm -hmm. but right now mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this seat with you. And I'm wondering how it is that some of these teams can get creative with cap analytics guys and their strategy, how much they want to press forward given some of the restrictions of what you can do with your roster. But we know the more players you have that can step in and be ready, these deeper teams during the regular season usually pile up a few more wins than those that don't have that approach. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Love is the four with Thompson in the middle. Sexton is out there with Jordan Clarkson, and it's Osman in at the three spot. Clarkson, is it's interesting for him. He's not really a point guard and not really a shooting guard, so trying to find ways to stay in the game and stay aggressive and do whatever is asked of him to earn minutes. Now, here is Russell. He's coming off a 22-point game against the Wizards in Washington. Here's Carroll to the paint. Here's Ilgoskis. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Let's it go from deep. Shots good by Clarkson. Well, the more Clarkson plays in the pick and roll, it seems like he gets confidence and the better he becomes. Tough cover for the D. Russell finds Allen to the middle. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Thompson. One of the standout performers recently. We have a chance now to recognize the Eastern Conference Player of the Week. Basketball is one of the few sports where good offense beats good defense. And nobody has had better offense than him lately. I don't think there's anybody in the league that could have slowed him down on offense. He was unstoppable, to say the least. Now, here is Ogowskis. Thompson with the rebound. Yeah, I have no idea why he went with the fadeaway there. The defense was nowhere near him, and he should have just kept it simple. Locked loose, Osman. That shot missing, and Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Russell looking around. And AI with the basket on the assist by Russell. And it's six points for AI. In that height, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. Love kicks to Clarkson. Back to Love. Pass to Clarkson. Five on the clock. Takes the 13-footer. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Yeah, a bit of a tough start here at one for four. Russell passes to Carroll. Got that one up quick. Carroll's got his first two points of the night. And that's his role. That's where Carroll's at his best. The catch and shoot. Sexton with it. He's coming off a 25-point game against Toronto. He also did a masterful job in that game of drawing a lot of fouls, so he's creating havoc for the defense. Really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Russell left side. Here's Ilgoskis. No good from outside. The Cavaliers trail by four. Pass to Clarkson. Launches a three. Falls through. He's now made two of four. Clarkson draining one from deep. Something he has to continue to work on. Stretch out the floor. Passes it to Augustus. It's Carroll on the wing. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. You look at the roster turnover that the Cavs have had the last Two few seasons. Gentlemen. A lot of trades made. Some hits and some misses. And you know the front office willing to make some deals to try to get this train back on the right track. They're not shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. Shooting two.
Free throw good, Ilgauskas. And both free throws good for AI. Looking comfortable there from the line. Knows he needs to come through for his team at the charity stripe. Sexton the pass to Thompson. Here's Clarkson. And the basket is good. Clarkson's got nine. And with the trades this Cavs team has made several blockbuster deals in the last few years. Well they have a tough payroll situation that they're trying to deal with and manage and manipulate. It's uh, tough for a young GM to try to find a way between sticking with what they've done or is it a time to try to start to develop something for their future. You give them credit for doing everything in their power to still compete. Here is Love after the made shot from Chris Webb. Count that bucket. Kevin Love great recognition as to what was happening there. Saw the floor, saw the teammate and saw the passing opportunity. There's the pass to Allen. And AI with the basket on the assist by Allen. And 12 points for AI. It's pretty simple. I figured it out. He can't miss. Adding to the lead with ease and capitalizing on every opportunity. He, he can't miss. Now, here's Sexton. With an average of around 19 and a half points a game, his scoring has been a constant for them. Here's Clarkson. And that one, good. 11 points in the game. And this quarter has been all about him. You feel every shot he's going to take is going in. Russell finds Allen. Here's Levert to the left side wing. And stolen by Love. Three pointer. A shot by Sexton, no good. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Bill Dawson's two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That one on Love. The Nets have been perfect at the line so far, albeit just two for two. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And he's good on the second. Now Clarkson, he's got 11. He kicks it to Thompson. And Allen with the block. Second shot opportunity. Levert releases from the wing and drills it. Levert's got his first basket. And you love how Russell keeps his eyes up. Rarely misses a guy when he's free. Sexton with it. Russell's there. The shot by Sexton. No good. Yeah, that was a million-dollar crossover to free him up. But that finish, I'd give him 50 cents. Russell against Love. Russell dishes to Ilgauskas. Back to Russell. Just five to shoot. That's the three fly. Buries it from three-point range. Russell's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Brooklyn Nets come into this one following a loss to the Wizards. Now, here's Clarkson. Defense is right there. Sexton kicks to Clarkson. Six on the shot clock. Here's Osman. Once again off the mark by Cleveland. That's one he knows he should have drained. Now, here is Russell. A good portion of the scoring has come from him. He averages more than 18 points a game. Pass to Carroll. AI outside. Rebound collected by Clarkson. 
And so Clarkson will bring it up for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Seven point differential. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. No other way to put it. The defense was awful. Completely uninspired at that end of the floor. Yeah, scanning the box score here, and you could just see the turnover differential failing to cause any sort of mistakes. And then on the offensive end, the lack of focus. Both teams deciding to change it up. Nets leading by four. And Jordan Clarkson is a player who is looking for his shot whenever he gets the ball. Can distribute enough, but it isn't his top priority. Very dangerous when left alone outside. And Woody with the bucket. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Smith feeling it out a bit. Shoots. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Well, this is why JR is involved in that pick and roll. It's a very good decision. Here's Dinwiddie covered by Smith. And here's Napier. Currently averaging almost six points a game. Kicks to Ilgauskas. Four on the clock. Good. Napier with the assist that time. Ilgowskis has got 15. This guy is just shredding the defense right now. He's hitting any shots he's putting up. Sexton the pass to Henson. And John Henson with the slam. Yeah, there's good reason why Henson's a high percentage shooter. So many of his looks right there, right at the rim. Now here's Napier. Not a lot of room. Let's it go from 14. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. The Cavaliers trail by four. Smith outside. Pass to Henson. He kicks to Sexton. And another three for Cleveland. Good to see Sexton knock it down from deep. A shot he needs to add to his arsenal. Napier passes to Augustus. On the wing, Harris shoots over Henson. Passes it to Dinwiddie. Launches it. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Cleveland's gone 4-6 from long range here early on. Sexton kicks to Henson. In the corner, Smith with it. Inside. Rejected by Ogowskis. Here's Harris. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Nance comes with the double team. It's stolen by Nance. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. And it's Smith missing. Nets leading by four. To the inside, Bill Gostas. Nance with some nice D. I know it's physically impossible, but he's got to be kicking himself. He knows he's got to make those. To the middle. Here's Henson. And Davis pulls it down. Brooklyn's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. Now here's Napier. T right on him. Dinwiddie dishes to Ilgowskis. Just five to shoot. Napier passes to Ilgowskis. And the Nets miss again. The Cavaliers trail by four. J.R. Smith on the wing. He's averaging around five and a half points a game. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. That is his first foul of the game. Some changes for Brooks. made their free throws at a pretty good clip. They've hit eight of ten. And that one falls for Allen. 
love a good mid-range game. We don't see it that much, but I know you have a couple guys you think have a pretty strong mid-range game. You know, Chris Paul still has dominated the mid-range. But Kevin, it was interesting because him joining the Houston Rockets, who it's all about threes and layups. Daryl Morey, I think, recognized we need somebody that can come off the pick and roll and make those kind of plays happen, not only at the rim for Capella, but shoot it himself. So Chris Paul still dominates in the mid-range. Kawhi Leonard has shown some skills at the mid-range, even though last year, obviously, just nine games, he's still a dangerous weapon. It'll be interesting to see if that's still part of his arsenal for this season. And then C.J. McCollum has been one of the best mid-range scorers in the league for the Portland Trailblazers over the past couple of seasons. So on the floor for Cleveland. Sexton is out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then there's J.R. Smith. Then there's Tristan Thompson. And it's Henson in at the four. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Hi, Kevin. Well, A.I. in their last time out against the Wizards was tremendous. He finished with 45 points, and part of that scoring came from behind the arc, adding a few threes to his season total. He put up numbers that really jumped out in the box score. A very solid performance. Kevin will see what he's got in his arsenal tonight. Thanks for checking in, D.A. He was phenomenal for them in that game. It was fun to watch. And not just fun for us, but it had to be fun for him as well. Everything was working, and he just seemed to enjoy and embrace every minute of it. And I love having fun, but fun comes at a cost, and that cost is work and effort. So let's not get too far away from that tonight. He was a workhorse in this one. Down low. That's a basket. Is eighth from the field, eight of 14. Cleveland's gone one of two on three pointers here in the second quarter so far. Clarkson finds Smith. Fires the three. It's hauled in by Harris. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Lugowski dishes to Russell. Harris outside. AI outside. Six to shoot. Russell passes to Kier. From outside, off the mark. Now, this is a quarter that he would love to forget as soon as possible. Not getting anything to go. Count it. Clarkson's got 11 points in the quarter. Such a such a tough shot to master there. Clarkson feeling more and more comfortable, it looks like, with that floater. against Clarkson. Harris kicks to Russell. Back to Harris. To the inside. Here's Ogoskis. The Cavaliers pull it in. Thompson's got five rebounds tonight. Smith against Harris. Smith the pass to Henson. Cleveland moving the ball around. The open look here for Sexton. Misses the three. He sunk that three in the first. But yet to make another one. Outside Russell. From the arc. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got six rebounds in the game. And D'Angelo Russell picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Sexton. He's guarded by Russell. Here's Thompson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Kind of an interesting year for Tristan Thompson, who saw playing time decrease. And some felt that his focus and his drive just wasn't quite the same. There was a lot of moving parts last year for Cleveland and around Tristan. Eventually, he found his game late in the year, though, and was impactful in the playoffs. For Thompson, he certainly has seemed to take a step back, Brent. His contract is not helping the matter either. Well, there were some distractions, I think we could say, legitimately last year with the things going on off the court. The fact is, Tristan Thompson was once viewed as a really good quality big man at the starting position of center or power forward. He has a lot of work to do in order to get himself back on some solid ground. Clarkson against Carroll. Clarkson finds Smith. And 
he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Brent, do you think individual defense is getting easier to measure with player tracking and advanced stats? Yes. I don't. I, I think it's impossible for uh, you to find some legitimate measurement of how much a player is truly impacting the game defensively. I think there's great indicators of combinations of players that are on the floor at the same time that are working collectively and doing something to shut down another team's best offensive unit, but individually it's so hard to just put a number on what a guy is doing in terms of his total impact defensively. So the eye test is not on a stop. I don't think so. I think we're getting better at the defensive metrics that are being used Kevin and I think that clearly we can see with some of the best wing defenders in the league a Robertson a Covington that they're able to control their man a Kawhi Leonard they're able to impact the game defensively but how are we quantifying that we need to get better with it. that's good for his third bucket now three for six from the field yeah, you don't want J.R. Smith to get room to shoot, especially from the mid-range there. He's very effective at scoring just about anywhere on the floor. Russell kicks to Allen. Out to Harris. Allen passes to Russell. And here is Harris. At the elbow, it's a uh, Good, and Harris gets the assist, and it's now 26 points for AI. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Thompson dishes to Sexton. Down low. Here's Henson. That one off the back iron and out. And really, this is where you want to just let the clock wind down. Yep, unless you get a great look that's impossible to pass up, use the time wisely. Getting everyone involved. Russell operating the offense like a seasoned vet. Here's Sexton. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Well, you have been getting it done tonight, scoring, rebounding everything. How have you played, and where have you found all this energy? Well, no, nah, no. Nah. See, you guys understand this hasn't just been me. Yeah, uh, as a team, we're playing with a lot of heart tonight. You know, these guys, they're boxing out. They're playing physical, and that's allowed me to get a lot of easy shots and get a lot of rebounds. Teammates getting it done, individuals getting it done as well. Great combination, Kevin. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession really an incredible game from AI I'll tell you the scoring he gave them in the first half really made the difference well the defense is paying attention to a lot of other guys he's gotten some good looks and he's done a great job of finishing those off well we've got a moment let's set the floor brought to you by Gatorade all fueled up for the second half and Brooklyn looking who they've got Russell and Lavert in the backcourt. Jamari Carroll is out there with AI. And it's Allen in at the center, filling out the middle. Great positioning on the glass, jumping all over that miss and sticking it back in. Russell inside. That one goes. Count it. Russell's got it all tied up now for the Nets. This is why you like size in the backcourt. Russell taking the hit, yet still able to finish. Here's Osman, covered by Elgostas. And it's Osman missing. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Nets. Carroll kicks to Elgostas. Out to Russell for the lead. And he's good on the three ball. Now it's a three-point Nets lead. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Gauskas against Love. And no good that time. 
Nice D from Russell. Yeah, they got to hope to turn it on soon. One of four so far. And they know they got to be better. Here's Ogoskis. Good D from Love. The Cavaliers trail by three. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. To the middle. Got a piece of it. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. Look at Ilgostas. And you'd be crazy not to give him your vote. What he's done this season has been nothing short of spectacular. And keep tuning in for updated results. You can visit NBA.com for more. Stolen by Clarkson. Inside. And Thompson throws it down. Justin Thompson with some force on that one. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of four here to start the second half. Russell kicks to Allen. To the middle, Ilgowskis, the pass to Allen. The Nets working the ball around now. Shot from free throw range. And again, it's the Nets missing. The Cavaliers trailing. Here's Clarkson, and there's a nice one-handed slam. You're going to burn yourself when you get up that close to Clarkson. He's explosive. Brooklyn's gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Here's Lavert. He's covered by Clarkson. Outside, Russell. And there's the pass to Lavert. Five to shoot. Brooklyn needs to get off a shot here. And it's Ilgoskis missing. Yeah, this is a terrible start for him, and it has to be weighing on him. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And Colin Sexton, when it comes to scoring, the man shows you a little bit of everything. Loves to drive it. Loves to attack inside. Improving his consistency from range. But, but what I love about him is the aggressiveness. This guy is always in attack mode. Cavaliers making a switch here. Nance has checked in. Pass to Karuch. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Love. For Brooklyn, they have shot 9 of 11 at the free throw line. First free throw is good. Shabazz Napier's checked in for Lavert. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Sexton the pass to Clarkson. Osmond lays it up and banks it in. Osmond's got seven. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass nice assist. Pass to Napier. In the corner, it's Aon. Good, and it's Napier with the assist that time. Ilgowskis has got the game tied up here for Brooklyn. The Cavaliers have gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Clarkson finds Nance. Back to Clarkson. Eyes again, and stolen by Napier. Ilgowskis dishes to Davis. There's the feed to Napier. Back to Davis. It's stolen by Nance. He's got a clear path. High arcing shot, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. two. Shots. And Brooklyn called for the two. foul. And, of course, Colin Sexton. His college team once had to finish a game with only three players. Yeah, he scored 40 that night. I mean, almost led him to a victory. He loves to play under the bright lights. Brings great energy and enthusiasm every night. Free throw good, Sexton. And the aggressiveness Sexton plays with is it's infectious. He, he motivates his teammates to play just as hard. Ante Zizic has checked in for Cleveland. 
Napier feeling it out a bit. Here's Dinwiddie. He's covered by Clarkson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. And checking out the numbers for Clarkson. Over the last month, getting it done. Averaging about 22 points per three assists and three rebounds. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. His instincts naturally are to score the basketball. That ability to find the creases in the defense is something you just don't teach, and it's awesome. And he's good on the second. And so Clarkson will bring it up for Cleveland. They lead by one. To the inside. Here's Zizic. Banked in off the glass. <laughs> and you gotta love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grind it out game. Napier with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Dinwiddie kicks to Ogowskis. Now Napier. Lock at six. Down low. It's tipped. It's stolen by Nance. Feeds to Sexton. Buries it down low. Now it's a five-point Cavalier lead. You know, beautiful move there by Sexton. Read the defender and has the body control to adjust. Now here's Napier. And he converts the layup. And giving up some height. He just finds a way to carve out a little separation. This is sort of the joust of the NBA where the aggressive player, more often than not, wins out. No good from Zizic. Brooklyn's gotten the three-point bug tonight. They've taken 15 shots outside the arc. Six of 15. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up just creating havoc for the opponents the last few games. You saw by that putback there, he's just completely locked in. They're getting full contributions from him right now. J.R. Smith's checked in for the Cavaliers. throw good Ilgowskis so it's the Cavaliers now and here's Sexton 15 points in the game Smith outside now here's Sexton Napier covering clock at four the shot by Sexton no good very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. Then with the bucket. I love the offensive execution on that possession. The Cavaliers have gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Now, here's Sexton. Tight defense on him, and it's out of bounds. The Cavalier is able to retain possession here. Time now to look at the race for Rookie of the Year. And, of course, it's still early. A little over a month gone in this new NBA season. But let's take a look at who's made a nice impact so far. Look at Ilgostas. He's gotten off to a blazing start and has settled into that number two spot in the rankings. A lot of season left for him to jump to number one, though. And really not surprised with the kind of talent he possesses to be ranked second already. Not at all. I mean, we've already seen so much great basketball from him this season, and he's just going to keep it going. Here's Dinwiddie. Makes it off the glass. Now it's a four-point Brooklyn lead. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Zizic passes to Sexton. And the dunk by Smith. Sexton has to just keep developing his court awareness. You, you want to see more passing from him. Dinwiddie kicks to Davis. Passes it to Napier. And they immediately answer back with the dunk at the other end. And 
Kevin, who says a point guard should look to pass first? I mean, not when you can finish like this fella. Well, he wasn't going to give that opportunity up to a teammate. And that's what we're seeing more and more, point guards who can finish as well as they make the play. And Brooklyn making a change here. Harris has checked in. Free throw drops for Napier. The Cavaliers trail by five. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Zizic passes to Sexton. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And right there is the list of rookie assist leaders for the last ten games. It's been all about team play for this group lately. Fifth, Colin Sexton. And doing a great job of finding his teammates. Just making some highlight reel passes these past few weeks. He's had four chances at the line. Made them all. And you know, guys, he had a big game at the free throw line in their last outing. Shoot two. Free throw good, Sexton. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And the Nets with possession here. It's a three-point game. Now here's Napier. D right on him. Harris looking it over. Kicks it to Dinwiddie. Shot clock at six to the paint. Here's Ilgoskis. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And this is his fourth trip to the free throw line tonight. Uh, you know, when you look at his numbers this season, he's had a respectable number, 77%. No good on the free throw. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Hanson's checked in. And the second free throw, good. Here's Sexton. He's got 17. The pass to Osman. Beyond the arc. Brooklyn with the rebound. Ilgowskis has got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Napier with it. He's got five. AI outside. Dinwiddie jacks up a three. Sexton grabs the board. Here's Osman. It's good from long range. Osman's got seven now in this quarter. Look, I checked the numbers, guys. We know he is great from out there. He made one in the first half. Now he has one so far in this half. Look out. And a chance to now check out the scoring distribution between the front court and the back court players tonight for the Cavaliers. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this back court has kept them in the game. First one falls for him. a five star recruit coming out of high school. Davis still trying to gain the consistency he needs to fulfill his potential. Clarkson, he's checked in for J.R. Smith. The Cavaliers trail by three. Sexton kicks to Osman. Over Olgowskis. And yep, finally drops after rolling around the rim. Osman's got nine points here in the second half. Pass to Davis. Inside. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Dinwiddie is surveying the floor. Six on the shot clock. AI outside. Nice form on the 20-footer. Ilgowskis has got 37. He's got a baton in the right hand as he's orchestrating what's going on. A maestro, if you will. Here's Osman, guarded by Harris. And it's Osman missing. 
the shot's there for him, and he's got to take it. I, I don't care if he doesn't convert. That's a shot he has to continue to take. Bill Goskins, good. And, and not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. 139 left to play in the third. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Pass to Harris. To the paint. Here's Davis. It's rebounded by Cleveland. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Now Sexton. 17 points in the game. To the inside. It's stolen by Davis. Here's Napier. He's guarded close. It's stolen by Nance. A baseline J. Changes up. And the basket is good. And he's got a chance here for one more at the line. And really trying to work the ball inside here. And starting to get results. Here's Zizic to the inside. Fades and shoots. Love, no luck. He's been a little bit disappointing in this game. However, his team has his back. They need a little bit more help from him. On the court for Cleveland, we've got Zizic. John Henson out there with Tristan Thompson. Then there's Larry Nance. And it's Love in at the one. That one drops. He ties it up. And so here's Cleveland. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Clarkson finds Nance. Back to Clarkson. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Clarkson's got eight points in the quarter. Well, Clarkson can get inside. He's athletic to do that and then needs to touch in that area. Showed it off there. The feed now to Will Gauss. Love. Ilgoskis, good. Ilgoskis has got 41. Cleveland's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three pointers in this game. Not bad at all. And there's the foul. It'll go on AI. And that'll be his third foul so far. Sexton. Carroll covering. They double him with Russell. Back to Nance. Here's Osman. Defended by Allen. Just two to shoot. And it's Osman missing. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. To take the lead. The rebound by Kevin Love. Cavaliers have gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Here's Sexton. That three off the mark. Brooklyn's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Russell passes to Allen. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. All oh, the officials are all over that one. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Two shots. And Allen drops them both. Now, here's Sexton. He kicks it to Nance from 13, and he nails the jumper. Capable from that kind of range, Larry Nance Jr. effective at using that area of the floor in that possession. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Passes to Kira. Buries it down low. And the Nets lead by two. And how about Carroll using his size there, taking it strong inside. Osman kicks to Clarkson. Back to Osman. Just five on the clock. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. 
They get the rebound. Nance. And Nance is so athletic and so springy and bouncy out there on the floor. He can draw a lot of contact like that. The first one falls. Both free throws good from Nance. Lynette shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby, 38%. Russell against Love. Down low. Here's Ogoskis. Again, Lynette's for two. No, it's scary because he's just been a matchup nightmare in this game. He's eaten up anybody they've thrown at him. Now, here's Sexton. He's guarded closely. Clarkson taking his time here. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's on D'Angelo Russell. You better be cautious when you guard Clarkson. He's got a good burst. And when he gets assertive like that, oftentimes we'll draw a foul. He's off on the second. Well, he's putting his game right in the face of the defense right now and just driving into the paint to get contact. Russell against Love. Russell kicks to Carroll. The pass to Augustus. The nine-foot shot. Again, the Nets for two. Well, this is a gravity game right now. Whatever he throws up must come down. He's having a great game. The Cavaliers trail by three. And the Cavaliers call time here. And they're committing an awful lot of fouls here. And not of the good variety. You don't want to give up easy layups. Sure, but it's been a non-stop parade to the foul line. And now a chance to check out some of the tremendous play tonight from our Jordan player of the game. And it's been a ridiculous performance in the best sense possible. I mean, everything about his game has been working. And no matter what they've thrown at him, he's had the answer. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear what the Cavaliers head coach was saying to his team. He told them, now's when you turn it on. Leave them in the rearview mirror. I know we can put these guys away. We'll see if they can deliver. Yeah, the first half was really tough, but he's really rounded a corner here and been fantastic shooting the ball here in the second half. Russell finds Carroll. AI right side. Out to the right wing. Has to Levert. Back to AI. Shot clock at six. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Ilgowskis has got 47 points. The Cavaliers trail by three. And here's Sexton. Love outside. And a miss there on the triple. You know, not sure if it's him or the defense, but just something's off tonight. Well, something in this frame for sure, but if you're out of rhythm. Sometimes it's better to play the role of being the facilitator. You know, at least get a hand up. It's not too much to ask from a coaching staff. Just not intimidating defense at all on that possession. Kicks it to Sexton. Pass to Clarkson. In the corner, Osman. Fires from 18. And that one is off. The Nets go the other way with it. A minute 42 left in the game. Bounce pass, Russell. Here's Levert. He's covered by Clarkson. Russell passes to Kier. The mark there with the three-point shot. And here's Clarkson. He brings it up for the Cavaliers. Sexton dishes to Love. Rejected by Augustus. And he gets it back. Now, here's Sexton. He's guarded by Russell. Lets it go with the three. Rebound, Brooklyn. 
Well, you make strides to get back in the ball game, but an errant shot like that can definitely cost you any kind of momentum. You have to use better judgment there. A nice shot by Levert. Well, that's some good O there. Always like to see them getting those interior looks. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're trailing by eight. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. seconds left in the game and he'll shoot free throws here clearly fouled on that shot that time the whistle blowing nice work to get it inside and draw the contact that's also good so he hits both free throws crucial that he converts those shots they've got to keep eating away at the lead he kicks to Allen outside Russell Pass to Kira. Here's Levert. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. Levert's got the lead up to eight now for Brooklyn. And with time becoming a factor, that may do it, guys. Well, leads are not given. They are earned. Playing with desire and attention to detail all night. Timeout called Cleveland. They're behind by eight. 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. <laughs> 24 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Offensive rebound. Osman kicks to Clarkson. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. Outside, Russell. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Kevin, wow. What you all did tonight, what a display of offense. What got into you to produce this performance? Well, uh, <laughs> a couple of my teammates challenged me before the game. Uh, they were saying, let's see how high you can go tonight. So I said, all right. I'll show you exactly how high I can go. I mean, but even still, I, yeah, I didn't think I'd put that many points on the board. That was, that was pretty surprising to me. Well, you're buying tonight for everybody. Great job. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports.
him with that that assist, man. It was crazy. That was hey, I, we've got some questions lined up for you. Oh yeah. Okay. Right Shoot. Here. Hey. What's up, Griff? Hey, AI. Hey, thought I'd take a different approach and ask you about something not directly related to the game. I want to know how you feel about the fans. <laughs> how I feel about the fans? Man, that's a great question. Um, now, I love the fans, man, but I think you already knew that. I mean, you know, they're the lifeblood of everything we do. Like, if we were just playing to an empty arena, you know, it wouldn't be the, the, the same experience. Um, but when you got, like, an entire... You know, an entire team, an entire city, you know, people behind you, it's, uh, there's no feeling quite like that one. So, yeah, that's dope. So you'd say you were a fan of the fans. <laughs> oh, look at you. All right, being all clever. I see you. I see you. <laughs> yes, uh, I am a fan of the fans. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for your time, AI. Appreciate the candor, as always. Thanks, Griff. <laughs> Thanks, guys. All right, guys, let's go see if Coach is ready.